Alrighty everyone, welcome back. It is now February 26th of 2024 and given that there's a lot of things happening across the board for all divisions over at the Walt Disney Company that is all due in part to not just Bob Iger but the board of directors along with the top shareholders that we cannot forget about BlackRock, Vanguard, and State Street really funding all of this DEI nonsense getting thrown into all things such as Star Wars, Marvel, and just Disney flat out in general. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So I think it's pretty safe to say that, in my opinion at least, Lucasfilm is in a far worse state than the Marvel Cinematic Universe, typically because of one reason, is that they announce titles and then they cancel titles and or they fall into production limbo or it tends to be a actual release that creates a big fan division or a large amount of fans really just dumping Star Wars altogether. Now this all has a lot to do with what's happening with the Acolyte series by showrunner and director Leslie Headland. I think that everyone should be fully aware about Leslie Headland because if you thought Kathleen Kennedy and Charmaine Obeyed Chinoy were bad, Leslie Headland is a whole new level of bed, in my opinion at least. So looking at everything about Leslie Headland, all right, you guys may know her from Russian Doll and among other more lesser known projects out there. But what's interesting about this has a lot to do with her take on the fans that have a problem with the acolyte, that have a problem with the overall act of Kathleen Kennedy diverting away from George Lucas's philosophy. Let's get into all of this, shall we? Now, with all divisions over at Disney showing no signs of a resolution in sight, one major development has much to do with Bob Iger's treatment of Lucasfilm through the use of showrunner Leslie Headland dealing with the acolyte backlash. Now, recently, Headland had to deliver the following to the fans, holding issues with the acolyte by stating the following. As a female, I think it's very important to embrace and empower female-driven characters, especially in Star Wars, and there is no denying that we are up against a handful of loud and opinionated fans that hold these flawed points of view, that this push of ours is some form of an agenda when in reality, we are just making up for lost time. With the Acolyte as a showrunner and the director, it was my mission to accomplish one of my greatest goals in life, which was to create a show that is created by women and for women that will only make Star Wars into a popular brand, even more so than before, that is able to expand into different demographics. This is our first ever live action all female led ensemble series for Star Wars. We didn't just want to do another copy and paste George Lucas interaction of Star Wars that latches on to nostalgia. What we, as an I and Kathleen Kennedy, wanted to do was we wanted to truly insert our view of the world. And to fans that have an issue with that, I think they just need to keep quiet and refrain from shouting their loud and biased opinions. As a feminist, it's extremely important that we keep producing content just like this, so that we can eventually make this into the norm, not just for Star Wars fans, but everything that Disney has been attempting to achieve. This is something that Kathleen Kennedy warned me about, that fans would stop at nothing to ruin a project like this, all because they feel entitled to what George put out back in 1977. Star Wars is more than George Lucas. In fact, it holds unlimited possibilities for all experienced and un known creators alike. And as I previously said, I just felt that adapting the EU books, she's talking about Expanded Universe, EU books would have been way too boring and lazy. We had to do something different this time to truly expand the Star Wars universe. Come June, everyone is going to change their minds, mock my words, including toxic males that seemingly have a grudge against Lucasfilm's push for powerful female roles. After working on Russian Doll, I knew that Star Wars was my destiny. This was the perfect platform to explore a series that could be catered to a new demographic while borrowing elements from other popular films and or series. You are going to see strands of popular movies like Frozen and The Matrix in The Acolyte, and I took so much inspiration from Ryan Johnson, who pulled so many risks with The Last Jedi. Now guys, let me stop here quickly. Now again, this is another example of a Lucasfilm hire telling fans to shut up essentially, to remain quiet, to keep your quote-unquote biased opinions to yourselves, 
so that they can allow themselves over at Lucasfilm to push their agenda. That's what it's really all about. And she's really parroting Bob Iger here by saying that the insertion of these female driven characters are not an agenda when in reality guys let's be real it is just that it is 110 percent an agenda if you want to have female roles look i will be honest that's fine but let it naturally flow through the works of the script as you're writing it as you're reworking it or whatever have you developing the story let it come through naturally that's why kill bill volume one and two by quentin tarantino works so excellent because it came naturally, and that's why it just works. So, again, the Acolyte is setting itself up for failure, not just through Leslie Headland's stance on the fans, but also through Kathleen Kennedy, really just pushing this overall agenda to just throw George Lucas into the mud and have no care in the world about the fans that have been so loyal to him for well over 40 plus years. And this just goes to show you as well that the Acolyte is nothing more than a push for Leslie Headland to use the Star Wars brand, as far as its popularity goes, to push her overall vision of a story. This is nothing more than what Ryan Johnson did with The Last Jedi, and I'm not shocked because that's why she looks up to him. Because he obviously did not like Star Wars and its core fans. Leslie Headland, in my opinion, is the female version of Ryan Johnson, if not worse. So let's get into all of this further. She goes on to conclude, it's about time. Those at Lucasfilm are accepting shows like these, and I give full credit to Kathy for making the Acolyte happen. At first, she thought maybe this could be a movie years back, but why not a series, I said, that can stretch for seasons on end. I couldn't be more proud for getting this opportunity to alter the philosophy of Star Wars. You were always going to deal with entitled and angry fans, but they are just a minority. It's best to ignore the noise. I see it with Star Wars and I see it with Marvel and among other franchises out there. I think it was horrible what Charmaine went through with the response for her new Star Wars film. So again, over to defending Charmaine Chinoy. All right, we already have Leslie Headland siding with her, siding with Kathleen Kennedy, that's pretty much a given though. And this is another example that the Acolyte series is really going to be, in my opinion, I've stated this before and I'll say it again, it's going to be worse than The Last Jedi. It's going to be more of a divide for fans than The Last Jedi because not only did Ryan Johnson break the overall rules of Star Wars and break the, the character of Luke, now you have Leslie Headland literally admitting that she wants to essentially change George's philosophy, she wants to alter all of it, and she thought that by adapting the EU books was nothing more than boring and a lazy attempt at Star Wars. There you have it, another Lucasfilm hire, who was the personal assistant of you know who, and I think it's only going to be a big mess everything moving onwards. So anyway guys, you know, drop a comment below, fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.